Floss Tube. This is Kathy, the Kentucky Woman's Teacher, and I'm back for video number seven. It's been um, about six weeks since I visited with you, and it uh, seems like so many things have been going on during that time. You know that uh, when I did my last video, I was recovering from a cold, and I got, finally got over that, and then about two weeks later, I had to have some thyroid surgery and um, was recuperating from that and then all of a sudden there was a sinus infection that struck and oh, I've just been really um, had a lot of things going on in the last six weeks and haven't really felt like doing a video but I think uh, now I'm on the mend and I can uh, bring a video to you of some finishes and some starts and uh, maybe a few acquisitions. So here it is, already March 2nd. Hard to believe that this year has just gone by so very fast. It just seems like it was the beginning of the year not that long ago. And I think that the old adage that the older you get, the more time flies is so true. It just speeds faster every single year that I think about it. But let's get on to uh, some stitching. I uh, have some fully finished items I've been working on. Um, I got I did get some stitching done during the six weeks. I didn't always feel like stitching, but... Uh, on the good days, I, I did do some stitching and got some things finished, and I want to just share those with you. The first um, are some Christmas things that I got finished up. I showed the stitched finish on Instagram, so if you're a follower on Instagram, you've seen the stitched pieces, but I haven't shared the fully finished items yet. So here's the, you get to see the first um be the first ones to see those. So let's get started with that. The first one is a Little House Needleworks called Merry Christmas. And I think this is so cute. I don't know that red always, red just always speaks to me. And on this one, you can see it has some little snowflakes up here in the corner. And I chose to leave those little snowflakes off because I wanted the top of my ornament to have a curve. And that's what I did. So let's take a look at that. So here's my finish. I have that nice little curve on the top that I think it looks uh, so cute. And I have a bead for, on the hanger. And I just used nice fabric for the back. It's a tone on tone fabric. When I choose fabric for my ornaments, I always try to match some kind of color that I used in the pattern just so that it coordinates well. And I did change a color in this. The red on the pattern, let's see, I believe was uh, Classic Color Works Barn Door. And I chose to use DMC 3777 because I thought it was just a little redder. And it... Uh, spoke to me more than the barn door did. So I've got this nice little ornament here. New ornament for 2018. The next one is a hands-on design. It's one of the merry-go-rounds. This one is holiday. And I did stitch it on um, the 32 count Oh, it's called, uh, I think it's called Petty Point, but I'm not sure about that. But it was the, I used the natural. And I did use all the called for threads. And I ended up using three strands on this to make sure I covered up the dots. So let's take a look at that. I did finish it in a round ornament, but not in a hoop. Here this is. I think that little button is just so cute and adds so much to it. I just cut two 
circles of matte board. Put some batting underneath this side and uh, just pulled it up tight and made my ornament. And I used some red fabric on the back and red cording. So I think this turned out really cute. There's another um, one similar to this. I said I think it has a sled and a skate in it. That was in one of the um, just cross stitch ornament issues that I would love to stitch because it it is so cute. It turned out. I think it turned out well. I'm very pleased with it. So a second ornament. Okay, this next one is from the 2017. Uh, just cross stitch Christmas ornament issue. It is this one. And it is, the name of it is Peace. Whoops. Peace by From the Heart Needle Arts by Wendy. And I did uh, use the called for threads, which there was only three. Three called for threads. And I made it into a little pillow ornament. This is stitched on 32 count linen that I had in my stash. I'm not sure what the name of it was. And then I chose a coordinating fabric for the back. And paisley. I love paisley. And then I had cording and a little bead accent on the hanger. I don't know if you can see that okay. So those are three Christmas uh, things that I got finished up that I had been working on. Um, the next are some Valentine and February finishes. I didn't have any Valentine finishes, so I thought, well, it's time to stitch some. So I did get enough uh, made to go into my little basket, which I have already taken apart, so sorry. The first one is a Lizzie Kate, and it's called Be Mine Valentine. And I did change up some of the colors on this. It called for um, linen, this border. Let me just show you this. I made this into a tuck pillow. It's stitched on, uh, once again, some mystery linen that I had, just a little piece. This little lacy border was supposed to be stitched in linen, which just really blended in to the fabric. So I chose to use um, Weeks Dye Works Whitewash. The Be Mine was uh, supposed to be stitched in red grape, but I chose to use Watermelon Punch, which is also a Weeks Dye Works. And then for the little heart, it called for love which I think think was a week's die works let's see I think all of them that they call for were week's die works no the red grape was uh, sampler threads and love was week's die works and I chose to use um, a lighter pink I used um, DMC 3716 for the little heart but I think it turned out cute. I like this that this is a little brighter than what it would have been if I'd used the called for thread. And then I chose this fabric for the backing, and it has a little paisley thing in it. But it also has something that looks kind of like a little bouquet. And I thought, well, how apropos for Valentine's Day, a flower bouquet. So I thought that really went well with the pattern. And then the cording matches. It's very close to the watermelon punch. 
So that's one of my Valentine finishes. Here's another one. This was a freebie from the work basket. It's a 2017 freebie called Hearts Galore. It goes like that. Lots of hearts. And I did stitch it in the called for thread, which was Weeks Dye Works Cayenne. And I just made it into a little tuck pillow. I decided I didn't want any cording on the side. I've got my initials up here and the date. And I did put a little brass heart up here in one of the empty spots. And then I just used some red mottled fabric on the back. Thought went well with the color of the stitching. So, the work basket, hearts galore freebie. The next one is also a freebie. It was from, uh, it is from For My Boys. And it's called Grateful Hearts. Lots of little hearts here, too. I like hearts. I've stitched a lot of heart designs over the years. Um, I did not use any of the called for threads. They were all Weeks Dye Works. And it was a very, very dark color palette, which I didn't think went with valentine's which i thought this would be a great valentine's uh, pattern so i changed it to silks and i'm sorry i didn't write down the conversion that i used and i'm uh used in these this heart right here this little tiny heart and this one up here i made a used um, Rhodes heart i stitched a road Rhodes heart for that and then I put some little red heart buttons on here as an accent. Made some pink cording to go with these two. And then this is my pink fabric on the back, kind of swirly. It's also modeled. I like modeled fabric. I don't know, I think it just adds something to it. That's another Valentine's finish. The last one is a freebie as well. You know, there are lots of freebies out there. You could search uh, designer blogs or go to some of the um, store websites and they have free patterns on there. And there are so many free patterns out there that you probably wouldn't have to buy another pattern. But that, of course, would not be supporting our designers. But there are some cute freebies out there, so you could check those out. This one is uh, from the Snowflower Diaries blogspot. And it's called I Will Be There. And it just has two colors which I use those two colors, Gentle Arts Piney Woods and uh, Gentle Arts Old Red Paint. So I stitched that on some 32 count Jobelin with those two called for threads. And I finished it as a long pillow. I added a little bow down here. And it has a little tiny heart charm stitched to it. I did not use Valentiny fabric for the backing. I thought this fabric went really well with the two colors and it made it so that if I chose to leave it out past Valentine's Day or all year that it wouldn't be so conspicuous. It's just a nice little sentiment that maybe you and your significant other could share. 
and I'm very pleased with how this turned out. I have uh, two finishes that stitched finishes that I haven't fully finished yet. So I want to share those with you. I finally finished this little house needleworks. My house, part of the hometown holiday series. And on this one I did change the color of the house to manor red. That's what I changed it to. Yeah. And instead of putting our last name on there, I chose to put Merry Christmas. Now I've got my centers marked on this for when I do my finishing. Let's see. I can't find something to put behind this. Make it a little easier. So I did it on 32 count opalescent that I tea coffee dyed. And now my dilemma is, how am I going to finish this? I thought about doing a flat fold. Didn't know whether I wanted to do that. I know I don't want to make a pillow, a tuck pillow out of it, because I think it's a little large for that. So I'm not really sure what to do with it. I did, I was shopping the other day, and some, I was at Kohl's. You may not have a Kohl's in your area, but... Um, they have lots of different things and they still had some Christmas items that were on clearance and it were, was these little boxes. I got them for $1.99. I like the polka dots on the side and I thought hmm I should be able to do something with these. So I thought well I could paint over this and then I could um, mount my piece on some Matte board with batting, and put it to put it on this little box, and just have a display. So I did buy several of these because you know you can set them up like this, or you can put them on the side. So I thought, hey, I could make some Priscilla finishes using these little boxes. But anyway, that's an idea I have. I haven't really fleshed it out all the way, so not sure how that will how that'll pan out. Maybe next time I'll have that have a finish to show you with that. The next one is Plum Street Samplers Marry You. And I stitched this for a class I'm taking later this month. I don't know, maybe some of you are going to take the same class. It's uh, at the Fancy Works Retreat. And it's the class that Vana is teaching on how to make um, finishes using the tart pans. This is a cute pattern, but I'm not really satisfied with how mine looks. Maybe it's the fabric that I stitched it on. And this is the fabric that they sent me. I think it's the... Um, Old Town Blend by hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, R and R Reproductions. I think that's what it is. But like I said, they sent this fabric to me, so I'm not real sure. But it's got these snowflakes. Stitched. I mean, it's white fabric, and you got snow stitched on white fabric. Then you got snowflakes stitched on that. These little snowflakes didn't show up very well, so I went back and back stitched them, and still they don't show up so well. So I don't know. Maybe after it's all finished, I'll be in love with it. But right now, hmm. I'm really not in love with it. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm sure next video I can show that to you. The next um, is a whip uh, that I did get to work on this back in February sometime. I spent about a week working on it and I hadn't worked on it in a while. So um, 
I felt it calling to me. I told you in the last video one of my goals was to finish the two big whips that I had. And so I got a good start on this one. This is uh, And Heaven and Nature Sing by Kathy Barrett with that gorgeous deer. And if I can find my picture, and if I can get it inserted here, I will put a picture of where I was before I started. But I did get quite a bit done on it. I was like right here and I had these two cardinals stitched I didn't have a head on my deer I did not have the antlers or the words and I did not have this urn done so I stitched all of this top corner here what's left is a little tree that's right here and then some flowers that are down here I'm not particularly in love with those flowers that go here. So I'm thinking about doing something that's um, more appealing to me. But anyway, this is a gorgeous pattern. If you haven't stitched it, then you should because that deer is just beautiful. It's stitched with silk. And this is 40 count uh, legacy linen. And I love stitching on this linen. And I'm going to be excited to get this finished and framed and see how it looks. I have a new start. I just started this yesterday. I thought it was probably time to do a little spring stitching. I think I'm, I'm skipping St. Patrick's Day completely and just go jump into spring and Easter and see what I can get done. So this is... Springtime by New York Dreamer. This is the next one in the series of the Wintertime, the pillow that I showed in one of my earlier videos. And it's got flowers and birds. And I did change one of the colors. This the words, the cross-stitched words, the call for color is cauldron. It's kind of a purpley gray. Well, that really didn't speak spring to me. So I chose to use the DMC choice that they gave which is DMC 3041. A very nice purple. This is one of my favorite DMC purples. I love this one. So I've just started on the words. some of the letters done last night. It's hard to see that. This is stitched on 32 count uh, Jobelin. I don't know the name of the fabric, but it is a, a hand dyed. It's got some pinks and greens, little yellows in it. It's a very pretty for spring. I have all these fabrics I don't know the name of because I belonged to a Fabric of the Month Club many years ago and they didn't always tell me the name of it when they sent me the, the fabric. But I think this is going to be cute on this fabric with all those different colors in it. So this went very fast so I'm hoping the whole thing is going to go quickly. So that's the only thing I got going right now. I've got uh, some things I'm thinking about starting. 
some more spring pieces. There's a, um, a Brenda Gervais called Easter Peep Parade. Stitched on a dark fabric. I've got some 40 count fabric here that I dyed, but I'm not sure. Not sure how that's going to work because it's awfully tight. It's an even weave 40 count, 40 count Verdal, and I believe it's a new Zweigart fabric. But it feels fabulous. It's very soft. So I'm thinking about starting that, but we'll see how that goes. The only other thing I have today are some acquisitions that I got. Um, you know, they had all those sales during Super Bowl weekend, and so I got a couple of things that I just want to share with you. The first one is a Shepherd's Bush uh, pin cushion called Mary B. And it comes with the, the fabric, the thread, the beads, the ribbon for the edging. And I just love those stockings. It says Mary Mary B at the top. The next two are seasonal. They're both waxing moon designs. I like waxing moon designs. And I think these two are relatively new. I'm not real sure. I hadn't seen them before. The first one is called Spring Things. And it's got different words and uh, the letters that spell spring are stitched in a different color. These are, I believe these are all back stitched, and then the letters that spell spring are cross stitched. So we've got some tulips and a kite, flowers. So, spring things. And then I also got summer things by Waxing Moon. Oh, here it says across the bottom, sunny days, butterflies, swimsuits, family vacations, and ice cream. So, the letters that spell summer are cross-stitched. Oh, I see a sandcastle there, some ice cream, sun. like a baseball bit mitt maybe. I don't know, but I thought those would be cute. And I have plans of course to get the autumn things and the winter things as well. Well, that's all the acquisitions I'm going to share with you today. I did get several more, but um, mostly Lizzie Kate. What a shocking announcement to find out that they're going to retire and how hard it is now to get their designs. But I'm sure that until March 31st that the stores will be restocking uh, their items and we can hopefully get the things that we want before um, Lizzie Kate retires. So if any of you are going to the Fancy Works retreat, I would love to hear from you. Um, maybe hopefully meet you when we're up there. I'm looking forward to it a lot. I'm excited to meet Vana and take a class from her. Uh, I just think that that's really amazing that she has, she takes the time to teach classes at retreats and that people can get to meet her and talk with her and maybe pick her brain a little bit if you've got some questions about some finishing troubles, but I'm looking forward to that. So I hope that each of you have a wonderful uh, weekend, and the, I 
wonderful rest of the month. Easter's coming up the 1st of April, so I hope that if you celebrate Easter, that you have a very nice Easter. So until we meet again, happy stitching. Bye.